Hi, my name is Rachel Vect. I'm the founder of Educating Matters. Whilst most of the time I like to speak about positive parenting skills, things like how to motivate children, how to respond with empathy and understanding, inevitably there will be times when your children misbehave in some way or they're uncooperative. So what's the best way to handle that as a parent? Now, I strongly believe that old-fashioned fear and punishment doesn't really work. And it also gets to the point where you're running out of ideas or ways in which to punish your children. What it ends up leading to is children who are quite angry, resentful and rebellious. And the child's focus very much becomes on not getting caught and how to avoid actually getting that punishment. But it does really damage the relationship between parent and child. The word discipline actually means to teach. And the biggest issue with punishment is you can punish your children, but often you don't actually really see a change in their behavior. So to really um, handle children's misbehavior, you want some kind of consequence that they're actually going to learn from. So if you regard children's misbehavior as a teachable moment, uh, an opportunity for you to tell them how to actually behave diff differently, and the word consequence isn't just a substitute for punishment to make it sound a bit nicer, but it really does mean a different thing. Um, I want to focus today on the idea of natural consequences. So this is allowing children to experience the natural consequence of their actions or their choice of behaviour. Um, and often as parents, we... We, we, we kind of try and rescue our children so they don't actually realise what happens if they behave in a certain way. So let me just give you a few examples first of all relating to younger children. So imagine, and this is probably quite relevant with winter coming up, I'm sure many of you are going to experience this situation, where your child doesn't want to wear a coat. So often parents say, if you don't wear your coat, you're going to catch a cold, which never really happens immediately. But what will happen, the natural consequence of going outside without a coat on, is your child will feel cold. And the chances are once they go outside after a few minutes, they'll want to put their coat on anyway. Say you have a child who's being very uncooperative at bath time, just faffing around, um, not listening to you when you ask them to get in the bath. They still have to go to bed at the same time. So the consequence for wasting that time during the bath or not listening to your instructions is that they have less time snuggling up with you when it's time to go to bed and they may not have a chance to have two stories or even one story. So explaining to your children, because you made that choice not to listen to me and um, we finished our bath much later, that means I don't have time to read or chat with you as long as I would like to. Another example, child... Um, doesn't want to eat their dinner. I mean, food and all of that is a whole other conversation, but as long as it's not happening on a really regular basis, the consequence of not eating dinner is you're hungry. Um, and let the children feel hungry once in a while. Um, they know that you're not going to give them something else to eat once the meal is over. It's either that or they don't eat anything. So they actually experience what happens as a result of their choices. A few examples for older children. Um, particularly teenagers, if they don't set their alarm and wake up on time, they will be late for school. And with my kids, they do get into considerable trouble and notes get sent home if they're late for school or they get a detention. So if that happens a few times, they're unlikely to do it again. Or a child comes at 10 o'clock on a Sunday night and suddenly remembers that they have homework to do. That is too late to start um, because they also need their sleep. So the consequence is tomorrow, the next day at school, they have to explain to the teacher why they haven't done their homework and the chances are they'll get something like a detention. But rather than protecting them all the time, let them experience the natural consequences of the actions they choose to take. Obviously not every misbehaviour um, fits into having a natural consequence and I will be back with more ideas of how to respond. For further support, also please see educatingmatters.co.uk. Thank you.